Hey guys, Blank here. I hope you're all doing good today. In today's video, we're going to be summoning for Blue Garf. So she does buff the entire Brun Nation or Brun, however you want to pronounce it. Um, she does not give buffs to def defense type units. So just be aware of that if you're planning to summon on her. So let's get started. And um, I also wanted to talk about the developer's notes um, that was released today. Um, I just wanted to give my thoughts on some of the content there. Uh, so first up obviously is the mythic unit which is Misty. Um, we are getting her via her own banner but I mean, it's like a different banner altogether, right? We're using mythic tickets instead of Zess. So as you might have seen in the image, in the developer's notes, it's 280. But those are all single tickets, okay? That's not 280 multiples. Um, oh, sorry, I'll make sure to link down the developer's notes in the description for this video so you can follow along but yeah like some people thought it was 280 multiples but no it's not those are single tickets however the tickets um, aside from being sold in this shop we're going to be getting them via events uh, so we don't really know yet just how difficult the tickets will be but I'm assuming since this is like you know the supposedly the best rarity now um, it's not going to be easy yeah so there wasn't really a whole lot of information that was released regarding like you know if mythic units are going to have a fate core you know are they going to be part of a signature force Will they get a core memory? You know, just how good their stats is. It's just basically announcing that there's a new rarity. Um, that's basically just what Line Games did. And yeah, so I don't really have much to say about it until we have more information. Um, okay, finally. Wow, we're half about halfway before I got my first FC. Oh, but yeah, um, the next thing I want to talk about is the season 4 string of creation gold. Um, I would actually say that this is a string of creation that's pretty good value compared to you know what we have. Uh, if you're if you're looking at the developer's notes, as you can see, there's three gold fate, core, uh, gold fate cores there, and they're all generals. And the first, the first step, the first ten steps is 50% discounted, and the second ten steps is 30% discounted. So that brings the total about. Usually, you need um, well. You need a 35k right to do the regular string of creation, but for this one, it's about it's discounted to about twenty nine thousand, which isn't that bad, um, considering it it is three gold generals. So I would say it's pretty decent value, and if you want to go for it, um, you can, but just be aware that. You know that's still a lot of zest that you're pouring into it and if a new gold fate core unit came out and you know you're trying to do this then you might not have enough for both yeah so just watch out for that but aside from that yeah it's pretty okay value i would say Especially since you know you could feed the generals and then you could re-roll the gold fate course if you want to do that. Um, I'm not gonna go over the 
signature force thing because that's still kind of confusing for me as well. Um, yeah. Wow. 23 multis and we only got one. <laughs> My bad luck continues, huh? Alright, um, what else do we got here? Uh, we do have the transcend uh, faded units. Well, not just for faded units, but basically for transcending. I think that's pretty good, but it just depends on how easy it would be to get them. So there's that. Um, oh, there's also Infinity Core. It's finally opening. So we're going to get a new type of currency that we can use to buy goodies. They didn't show what we're able to buy with the new currency yet. But yeah, it's finally open and you know, we're finally able to actually get something better out of it rather than 200 zest. Oh, on the very last multi. Please be on the Zergarf. Oh, another Iris? <laughs> wow, Iris is stalking me. <laughs> Alright. Can I get another one? I thought I was gonna get another one. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess I'll take it. Better than nothing. But yeah. And um, the last thing I want to mention, well no, actually rank 2 equipment is also coming but it's pretty straightforward unlike the first one so I'm not gonna go too into details but another one I wanted to mention was for blue fate core, we're, we're getting it back on June 28th and then um, another one on July 5th after the June 28th one ends for whatever reason I'm not really sure what's the difference between the two if they're gonna separate certain fade cores into the first schedule and you know another one on the second one but yeah it's coming back so if you want to skip this current one you can you know um, Overall, I think the dev notes was pretty good, you know, it looks good on paper, but how it's going to be when it's actually in game, we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. Um, I also want to say a quick thank you to everyone subscribing. Um, I'm not really, <laughs> I'm not really trying to make it big, but it does make me happy to see that, you know, people are enjoying what I put out even though I don't think it's that good but yeah thank you guys and I'll talk to you guys on the next one